Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. On this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to Coles Mountain in San Diego, California. Well, normally I show you where I'm coming from, where I'm going. This is pretty easy since I live in San Diego. And the spot we're going, Coles Mountain, is completely within the city of San Diego. It's part of the larger Mission Trails Regional Park, which is actually one of the largest open area urban parks in the country west of the Mississippi. You can see the summit to the left. The main trail there in front of you, and the main trailhead in the bottom, or sort of in the right-hand corner now. And you also see a road going up to the top. There's a couple of broadcast towers up at the summit, and they use that uh, trail to get all the way up there. So as part of this trip, I'm going to show you the trail going all the way up to the summit and the view in several spots out there. So let's go look around. Travels with Phil is at the Coles Mountain staging area. This is Cole Mountain right up there at the very top, right there. 1580 feet I think it is 1540 this is the trail that goes up it's a mile and a half roughly to get up there a little bit steep in spots so not uh, unconquerable lots of signs out here and one of the things I always like to mention is right there it's pronounced Coles not cows Coles that's the way the family pronounces their name and you figure you ought to name it, pronounce it the way the people it's named after pronounce it. Coles as in bowls or coals, hot coals. This is uh, part of the sign up here on the bottom. You can see a little bit of the zigzags up there a little bit. Just above the top of that tree up there you can see a few of the zigzags. Cutbacks, switchbacks. The there's a saddle nine uh, tenths of a mile up to the top or three fifths of the way up. It's a good spot to stop if you're exhausted, as it were. But if you're not exhausted, you can go all the way to the top. There are some people who will run all the way to the top. A few people, some people will walk up and run down. Some people just walk down. Some people like they make it at all. <laughs> Uh, it says time to the stomach round trip two to three hours. Nah, it seems a little bit long. It says they're uh, 1,580 feet, a uh, 630 from here, so it's uh, roughly 950 feet in elevation gain going up to the top. Now there's only uh, maybe a couple of dozen parking spots out here, so you have to park on the road. Golf Crest, I believe, is the road. So it's a nice, it's a nice hike. A beautiful view, great view from the top especially on when the weather's good. Travels with Phil continues. Let's go. All right, this is what the trail looks like at the very beginning. You start to walk up some spots. It's a little bit flat, but most of the time you had a pretty good elevation. As you can see here, it is definitely starting to go up the hill as you work your way along the trail. As you get a little bit higher up where there's more of a slope, you will see some wooden railings out there to sort of protect you. And lots of views as you make your way up. Now, I had trips up here during both uh, overcast and sunny times. This is what it looks like as you get to the steeper sections. Yeah, a little rock stacking gallery here on the uh, bottom third of the trail up Coles Mountain. Seen stuff like this in Sedona, Arizona, a couple other spots. For some people, they have spiritual significance. For others, they're just fun ways to stack rocks. And some folks run up and down. Well, this is somebody running down. Show off. This is the saddle on the Coles Trail. That's the trail uphill, peak up there. See the sign? And this is three-fifths of the way up. It's uh, nine-tenths of a mile to this point from the parking lot. Six-tenths up to the two-fifths left to go if you're going to go all the way to the top. This trail comes off over there then goes off into San Carlos area right out there. If you're breathing hard, it's a good spot to take a break. If you're not breathing hard, keep on going. That's probably the steeper section up there. You can see the zigzags going back and forth on that uh, stretch of the roadway. And you'll see some people that run up the top. Obviously, it's this gentleman going by. Good morning. A lot of people will run down. I got blisters on both of my feet from a couple of days ago. So, oddly enough, the going down is a little bit more st stressful, or well, at least on my feet. But it's a nice trail. Well, up there is the top of the Coles Mountain Trail. 
Coles Mountain, and there you can see the trail zigzagging. And you can see just the tiniest bit of the parking lot right there, just where the park starts. Very easy trail to follow, lots of signs. It's a mile and a half. Like more in the distance. I think it's San Carlos, the area out here. 125 and the 8 over there. So I can zoom in on San Diego downtown. It'll be hard to see right there at the horizon. See a little bit of Point Loma. I don't know if it's going to show up in this uh, hazy conditions out. All right, Lake Murray as Lake Murray as seen from top of Coles Mountain. Some folks coming up on the trail. You see part of the trail further down there. All right, we're almost at the very top, and I guess somebody's anxious to get there because, whoop, there they go, running past. And here we come up to the very top of the mountain up here, and this is the summit. You'll see folks just looking around as they get up there because it's a great view up there. And that is the plaque itself up at the summit. So here comes a video I took up there. All right, standing in front of Coles Mountain marker at the top. <coughs> Coles as in... Hot coals or rhymes with bowls. That's the way the family it's named after pronounces their name, so it seems appropriate. A lot of people say cowls, though. See Lake Murray over there in the distance? Some sunbeams coming down through the clouds over toward Mount Helix. Right there. San Miguel in the distance out there. San Diego Bay, out there, downtown, San Diego, Mission Gorge, some TV antennas, and then over toward Lakeside and Santee. It's early January, and uh, I made this without having to stop or take a breath, so that was good. Good news. <laughs> First time I've been up here in many years. A little chilly. Feels good though. So it's a mile and a half to the top. And it's a little steep. If you're not in reasonably good shape, you may have some deep breaths. Alrighty, this is the sign up here on top of Cold Mountain. Shows what's in the distance there. On a good day, clear day, and that is not what we have today. That's uh, Grossmont College over there. Sorry, Grossmont Summit over there. Gillespie Field. <laughs> no. That's where I used to fly uh, choppery. Let's take a look around and see. Yep, looking northeast towards Santee. You're looking at the 52. Now we're looking west toward downtown San Diego in the distance out there. Pretty views. Lots of older folks, lots of younger folks, a few dogs. Didn't see any cats. <laughs> and there's some spots out there where you can ride your bikes. It's like fun. I shot a lot of videos from helicopters while working as a reporter for KFMB and KGTV, so let's look at it. With a 2.8 mile trail to the top and a vertical rise of 800 feet, it is one of the busiest trail systems in San Diego. So it's essentially located right in the county, so I think that's a part of the appeal of Coles Mountain. It's been nearly eight weeks since the construction started here on Cowles Mountain Trails, and come this weekend, they'll be opening back up to the public. Improving the quality of the trails was the focus. I think that was a fun job. Well, as the sun sets, we'll bid a fond farewell to 
Coles Mountain in San Diego. Beautiful viewpoint, great hike. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.